how to comment in a Jenkins file. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.440.2. What we're going to be taking a look at in this video is how do we make comments inside of a Jenkins file? Now, you might want to just comment out a step or maybe some stages. We're going to take a look at all those different options. I already have a job set up. It's called comments. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. When we go into configure, what we're going to see is a basic pipeline job. We have two stages. We have stage one, which has two echoes in it, an echo hello and an echo goodbye. And then in stage two, we are using a shell step. Now, before we start doing a comment out, let's go ahead and run the job so we can see what the output is going to look like as we move through the different options. So if we take a look at the output of build one, we see our hello, our goodbye, and on the agent that we're connecting to, which in this case is agent one, we have PHP installed and we can see that it's version 834. So keep all of these things in mind. So we have a hello, a goodbye, and a version of PHP. So let's go ahead and go back into our job and let's reconfigure it. The first way that we can go ahead and comment out parts of our Jenkins file is just by using two forward slashes. So let's go ahead and comment out hello. Now, as we can see here in the pipeline editor, the green text turned to gray once we put the comment in. Let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. What we expect to happen is we don't expect to see hello in the output anymore. So when we take a look at two, the only output that we see is goodbye and php-v. Now let's go ahead and go back into the job again, and let's change how we are commenting that out one more time. We did just an inline comment, two forward slashes. We can also change that to block comments. So above, I'm gonna do slash star, and then after hello, I'm gonna do star slash. So we're blocking out just the echo hello. This is exactly the same as what we just saw with our inline comment of two forward slashes. Let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. What we can see from the output of number three is we have the exact same output that we had in two. Hello is just gone. Now, what happens if we go ahead and expand that block to include the echo goodbye? Well, let's go and take a look at the comments, click on configure, and let's just move the bottom of that comment block below goodbye. So what we see here is we don't have any steps within stage one. Let's click on save, click on build now. What we'll see here is that the job failed. Now, why did it fail? If we take a look at the output, what we can see is that there are no steps specified for, in this case, it says branch, but it's actually the stage. So anytime you have a steps declaration, you must have at least one step within the steps block. So let's go ahead and go back into the job. We'll reconfigure it. And let's go ahead and just take the comment out completely from around hello and goodbye. Let's run this one more time. And now we're back to the very beginning of what we saw with our build number one. We have our hello, goodbye, and now the PHP version. Now, how do we comment out when we're inside of SH, BAT, or PowerShell? Now, if you think about it, the way that we should comment that out is how we would typically comment out if we were in one of those shells. So in this case, I am using the SH step. So think of it like bash. So how would you comment something out in bash? Well, you would use a hash sign. So I'm going to go ahead and comment out within the SH block. I'm just going to use hash. So the call for PHP-V is now commented out. Now, unlike what we saw in stage one, where we had the comments around the two echo statements, notice we still have an SH step within the stage two block. All we're doing is commenting out inside of the SH step. So let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. And what we'll see from output six is we see our hello and goodbye but once we get down into stage two, we still see the output for our SH step. We can still see the SH step is still there, but notice there's no output from PHP-V because we've commented out that call to PHP-V. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment. Click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.